الله أكبر 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 كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا وقدوتنا في الأمور كلها محمدا عبد الله ورسوله لا نبي بعده اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحابته وكل من تبع هداه واستمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين وبعد فيا عباد الله سيكم وإياي بالتقوى فقد فاز المتقون فقال عز وجل في كتابه الجليل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق دقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا معاشر المسلمين Dear respective brothers and sisters as we are celebrating Eid this morning our feelings are in mixture there is a mix in feelings but in one hand we are so happy we are joyful with the end of Ramadan when the victory of the pleasure and the rida and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but on the other hand brothers and sisters our hearts are pain our hearts are bleeding but what is going on in Palestine and our brothers and sisters in Gaza their pains, their sufferings are our pain and suffering. Brothers and sisters, the month of Ramadan is intended to achieve taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. La'allakum tattaqun. But let me this morning emphasize on one of the important taqwa, and that is the importance of self-discovery. Importance of discovery, three at least points in our life. Number one, the importance of rediscovery, our fitrah our fitra, our purity. Now what does it mean fitra, brothers and sisters? There are two sides to this one. Number one, it is about the importance of discovery, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in life. Allah says in the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَلِتُكْمِلَ الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And complete the number of the days of Ramadan and glorify Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that we are discovering the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our life. And Allah kibriya, Allah greatness is not only in the masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala greatness must be somewhere. While you are walking on the street, you are in your shopping store, you are in your market, you are in your working places, have the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have the kibriya of Allah azza wa jal. This is the first one, brothers and sisters. The second one is the importance of rediscovering our sense of humanity, insaniyah. Everyone is created on the same insaniyah. 
Everyone is born in a state of purity. Unfortunately, because of this dunya, because of material tendencies, because of physical influence, we forget our humanity. When the people forget their humanity, brothers and sisters, they are becoming even wider than animals. Allah says in the Holy Quran, they are just like animals, even worse than animals. How many people killing humans in jokes like normal, killing children and women just like normal? Brothers and sisters, on this particular point I would like to say, and I don't mean that here is political statement, I am not a politician, but I would like to say that you don't have to be Muslim, some Palestinian, to call for a ceasefire. You don't have to be a Muslim and Palestinian to call to an end to these genocidal killings in Gaza and Palestine. You just need to be humans, my brothers and sisters. Having said this, I want to remind to my non-Muslim friends, particularly to my Jewish friends, that I am saying this not because I hate you. I am saying this because I wanted to remind you what Fir'aun have done to Jewish people in Egypt. I just wanted to remind you what Nazi have done to the Jewish people in European in Europe. Brothers and sisters, the sufferings of our Palestinians are our suffering. Their pains are our, their, our pains. And because Muslims are one ummah, this ummah is one body called Jasadil Wahid. If any part of the body is suffering, the whole part of the body must suffer. And we are suffering because of the pains, because of the sufferings of our brothers and sisters in Palestine. The second discovery that we need to discover, brothers and sisters, at the end of Ramadan, is about the importance of discovering our orientations of life. What does it mean? What is the ultimate purpose of life here? Why we are here? Where we come from? Why we are here, what are our responsibilities, and where we go from here? How many people around us walking like humans, but actually they are not like humans? Why? Because they act outside of their humanity. Why they act outside of humanity? Because they don't know the purpose of life. But for Muslims, alhamdulillah, the purpose of life is very clear. And I did not create jinns and humans except to worship me. This is the purpose of life. You are a business people, be it. You are a politician, be it. You are a religious man in working in the masajid, let us be. But there is only one purpose, and that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, when the people are losing the orientation in life, they are very tired of life, of living. How many people look like smiling? Looks like happy, but actually they are suffering. Do you know why? because they don't know where they are going. They don't know where they came from. And they don't know why they are here. They don't know the purpose of life. One of the diseases that many people are suffering in the Western society, despite of technological and scientific, scientific developments or advancement, are mental health issues. Why people are sick mentally? Because they are tired of this life. Why they are tired of this life? Because they don't know what is actually the purpose of life. So Ramadan, brothers and sisters, is a time for us to do self-reflection, to ask ourselves why I'm here and where I'm going from here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make easy for us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfullah wa astaghfiru la'allaha sa'atu ijabah. Alhamdulillah. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين شر لا إله إلا الله وشر أن محمد رسول الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد. The last discovery, brothers and sisters, and this is very important point to discover this month of Ramadan is the importance of rediscovery of our community. Now when we talk about community. We are talking three levels of community. Number one, the importance of rediscovering our family. Western society have lost their family. There is a, a friction of family. Fathers, they have their own life. 
Mothers, they have their own life. Children, they have their own life. There is no connection with members of family. In Islam, family is everything, my brothers and sisters. And that's why it's considered that family is the foundation of any nation and any society. In any nation, no matter how powerful that nation is, no matter how powerful that country is, if there are many broken families, that country and that nation is actually a broken nation. Therefore, in Islam, brothers and sisters, if you study the Holy Quran, nothing else is more details in the Holy Quran than the laws of the family. It talks about what to marry and how to marry. It talks about whom to marry and how to marry. It talks about even divorce. It talks about wasiyah when you divorce and die, one of the couple brothers and sisters. Everything is about family. This is number one. But also we are talking about local community, brothers and sisters. Our chairman, our president, the community members have already talked to you about Jamaica Muslim Center. But let me once again emphasize, Jamaica Muslim Center is not only a masjid. It's not about building. It is not about fanciest building. It is about our community. We want to make Jamaica as a role model of a community within American society. That is our local community, brothers and sisters. But also don't forget, America is our own community. New York is our community. And just I also want to emphasize one thing. Muslims, you are Americans and you are in America if you are not American citizens. And as long as you are American and you are in America, you have equal rights with any American here in this country. This country belongs to us and it belongs to Jews and Christians and anyone else. And therefore, do not hesitate to say, I am proud Muslims America in America. This is our community, brothers and sisters. But let me go to, go to the last one. And that is the global community, brothers and sisters. Why it is very important? Because this ummah is ummah wahida. Qul inna hadihi ummatukum ummatan wahida. Indeed, this ummah, this nation, this community is one nation, the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what connect us brothers and sisters? Nothing else but Iman, nothing else but our faith in Al-Islam. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً Muhammad Rasulullah وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ أَشِدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَارُ رُوحَمَاءُ بَيْنَهُمْ Rahma, compassion, that binding between members of this community. For that reason, brothers and sisters, we acknowledge the existence of races and ethnicities. We acknowledge the existence of national backgrounds. But we are all one Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our Palestinian brothers and sisters, our Gazan brothers and sisters, they are away from us, but they are in our heart. Because why? Because of the Iman. Innamal mubinuna ikhwa. That's why, brothers and sisters, this global Ummah must be discovered back by this Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That no matter where you live, we are brothers and sisters. We are brothers and sisters. And therefore, brothers, let me remind you this one. We are bleeding in our heart. And our eyes are tearing for what is going on in Gaza and Palestine. Just few hours back, few hours before their eat, they are bombarded. 13 people killed at one, in one place. And I am stating this, brothers and sisters, not because I am a politician, because I am a human being. And I wanted to say to our politicians, if you are truly human beings, then talk, speak out, verses 5. If you are truly a human being, and you have that humanity in your, in your set, in your heart, then speak up, verses 5. Brothers and sisters, America is not defined by race and ethnicity. This country is defined by values. And one of the value of this country is justice for all, not justice for some. And therefore, if this country's leadership really understand the meaning of justice for all, then talk justice for all, including for our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Gaza. Everybody is so brave and courageous to talk and scream when members of Kitchen, I forget the name of that organization, Kitchen of White Foot in Palestine killed like five, seven people. But how many? Palestinian and Gazans got killed on daily basis every hour and our Palestinian, our, our American leadership are shut up. They don't want to talk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open their heart and mind. If we don't mean to hate anybody, but we just to speak the truth. Because Islam is about truth. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and minds. Allahumma amin alhamdulillah rabbil alamin alhamdan wa afin amal wa kafi mazida. Allahumma rabbana laka alhamdu wa laka shukur kama yang bagi li jalal wa syaitani ma'adhaim sultani. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna salatana wa siyamana wa qiyamana. Wa rikuana wa sujurana wa takhashu'ana wa tadarra'ana. Wa tamnin taqsirana ya Allah ya arhaman rahimin. Allahumma inna ka'afun tahibbul afa fa'afu anna. اللهم انصر إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم انصر إخواننا في غزة اللهم يا جبار يا قوي يا عزيز يا قهار اللهم انصر نصرا عزيزا مقتدر اللهم تقبل منهم شهداءهم اللهم يسر أمورهم اللهم حرر فلسطين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى اللهم ارزقنا زيارته وارزقنا الصلاة فيه يا رب العالمين اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا كل وفقنا برحمة يا رحمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وسبحان ربك رب العزة ما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين عيد مبارك سلام عليكم رحمة الله إمامك تليت صلاة دعاء إن شاء الله